day 11. It's cardio day, my favorite day. Although I will say I'm a little bit afraid of this workout because <laughs> I did preview it and run through it. And I'm very afraid of it, especially after this. Okay, Scotty. so you guys were here, obviously, when this happened. And um, let's talk about it real quick. I landed poorly on my thumb. I think sometimes when I'm thinking about the next step and not really focusing on what I'm doing, like, you know, sometimes you can slip out, land on something funny, it can happen. I'm back, it's not fractured, it's taped up just so that it stays put. The swelling's down, it's not bruised or anything, just a little stiff. So I'm good we'll to go. It out. We'll yeah, modify if I'm we modifying. Need to. So if I'm going slower, don't judge me. No judging, okay? Because when you point Tammy, a finger, we're doing squats. When you point a my finger, thumb. There's, a, my thumb. <laughs> there's four pointing back at you. Well, three, three, three pointing back at you. So no judging. Say I don't judge again. you. When you point your finger at someone, there's three fingers pointing back at you. You never no. heard that? No, I don't think so. How do we share a brain? <laughs> you never heard that? Your mama never said that to you? Don't no. point your finger at people. When you point your finger, there's three pointing back at you. Makes sense though, right? No. I've Look, also never one, heard this. really? Maybe it's an island mom thing. Is oh, it an island mom three thing? Pointing back at you. Yeah, it's an island mom thing. Okay, all the island folks, thank okay. you. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You don't do that in the islands. It's an island mom thing. All right, don't point your finger, because there's three pointing back. At, yeah, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There you go. I was like, yeah, Anyways. it makes sense. <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We digress. Like always, it's like a spinning tumbleweed that starts off as a speck and then turns into this giant big mound of dirt. And, and again, I, I do it. And it's called our intro. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. You can just like use this time to go to the bathroom. I think they do. I've seen comments. I use this time to get my equipment set up, laugh it's at the perfect. funny stuff, roll my eyes at the other stuff. That's fine. Fast by forward. Us. Okay, so today, cardio, cardio. I can't tell you it's not that hard here because today your ass is going to be lit up. Mm -hmm. We're using the bench, okay? So bring it. We have one plate. We're using 10 pounds today. You can grab whatever you have, even if it's just a heavier dumbbell. And then for the finisher, we have one. No, we need one lighter dumbbell for the in between. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One, one lighter dumbbell for the finisher. Okay, she just gave you a spoiler alert. Because it's core on the floor. Okay. Core on the floor. Core yeah. on the floor. And uh, we've also brought along for the ride our... our um, magic carpets. <laughs> magic carpet. I was like, what's the <laughs> word for mats? <laughs> mat, stupid. <laughs> mat. Okay, we brought along our mats because like our lower lumbars are getting torn the fuck up. Okay, so we're going to get right into that warm up. Have Ooh. they seen it before? Is this new? <laughs> no. Yeah, new warm-up! New warm-up! New warm-up alert! Da -da 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 Here we go. Side to side lunges. Okay, down to the right. Okay, so we're getting nice and deep. Think of sending your bum to the back wall. Keep your chest up at the bottom. I like to feel the depth. At the bottom of that lunge, you ideally want your back and your shins to be at the same angle. Really opening up the hips, that side body. If you want to take your hands to the ground and get even lower, you can. Try to keep your heels on the ground. Three seconds. And a squat oh, it out. so good. And air squats. So you can have your feet hip distance apart, a little bit wider. Whatever feels good for your body. We're just waking up all those joints, knees, hips, ankles, okay? Or even better, start narrow, go wide, start wide, go narrow. It's your Ooh. chance to just warm up walk the whole body. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Gate openers in two, one. one. Okay, so we're gonna take that leg across the body first before we adduct. Don't fully. worry about the height. You don't have to drive your knee high. Just to around hip, hip height as your knee is near your ear. <laughs> Don't worry about the height, y'all. Can-can. Hey, we should include that. A can-can. a good warm-up. Ankles, knees, hips. Add in some hand action. <laughs> OK. Yeah. We're going to come down to the ground. We're doing a push-up, then a windmill. So I'm on my fist, but we're lowering all the way down. At the top of the plank, transfer your weight. And the other arm comes into a full, full win 
Mill. Words aren't working so well today. It's my fist. Windmill. Windmill. Chest to the ground. Try not to pike the bum up towards the sky. So a small anterior tilt. If you need to come down to your knees, that still works. All right, mountain climbers, moving on. Hands below the shoulders. So we run those knees in. I'm going to try to keep my wrist in neutral, so I'll be working on my fist a lot. Almost there. Eight seconds. Run it in. Four, three, two, two. and one. one. Okay, so we're coming down to the ground for those hip sways. You can either keep your heels on the ground for this one as you gently take your knees from side to side, or you can bring those legs into a tabletop. Did you hear that crunching? Yes. Oh, it feels so good. It's my back. So sometimes, the, no, mine as well. Sometimes the crunching isn't bad. Sometimes it's correcting things that are maybe not in the right place. So this is where warming up the spine is so important. Okay? Thrusts. Take the heels to the ground if they're lifted. Push through the heels. Take your hips all the way up. Squeeze your glutes. Really important here to know that this is glutes and hamstring only. We don't want to feel it in our lower back. So if you ever start to feel it in your lower back, dig into the heels, activate the glute, see if that takes it out of the back. And if not, just decrease your range of motion. We do not want this in the back, okay? That's one. Okay, now we're gonna hug our knees close to the chest and roll back and forth. This is called rolling like a ball. We're going from our sit bones to our shoulder blades. Notice I'm not coming into my neck at all. Stay out of that cervical spine. Inhale and exhale. Almost there. And then it's I'm cardio going time. Side to side. I'm doing a different kind of a roll and then rotating the other way. Just without the mat, I cannot do that roll on this floor. Woo! You guys do you, you have options. All right, we have 10 seconds to set up. So grab your benches. Okay, so for this first movement, we're hopping over the bench and then coming into a mountain climber, okay? So hop it over, then your hands go onto the bench and we're running it in for 10. Okay, if you can't do that, we can always hop onto the bench, jump down, and then come into that mountain climber. Okay, if you're jumping all the way over the bench, make sure you're landing on soft knees. So you're not absorbing too much of that jump. There we go. Run it in. 15 Ooh. more seconds. That I mean, was a quick <laughs> <No. laughs> thing. Such a because it was rest time. So thank God that was over. Two more sets of those. Okay, so I'm going to so come guys, close to you. Don't be afraid to use that upper body to help toss yourself over that bench. Okay, and air on the side of jumping higher, obviously. You want to be super confident. You don't want to be catching your foot on the way over. So work up to it if you need to. And for that mountain climber, you still want to make sure that your hands are below your shoulders, okay? Run it in, run it in. And rest. Okay, we got one more of those. I'm so not used heart to like. Rate should be up. My mm. heart rate. I'm at about a seven out of ten <laughs> because I'm being a little bit extra precautious. But I'm pretty sure pretty soon I'll be at a nine. Okay. First, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So notice we're bringing the feet together before leaping, obviously. Set it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it up. Woo. Last second, jump. Ah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Woo. So we're getting rid of the bunches. So we're coming down for a plank, guys. Onto the ground. Walking laterally, 
and then we're hopping up for a squat, okay? So coming down, don't wait for me. I'll be slower Two, here. Three, three, full squat jump. One, two, three. Hop those legs in, neutral spine, before you push the ground away from you to come into that squat jump. So I've jumped my feet up, I'm staying low. Power to the top. Whew. Two, three. Come on, let's go. One, three, two, and one. Whew. Finish okay. it. Wow. Okay. All right, that's that one. A little hyped up. I don't know if it's a good thing that we get to do that again. Three. And then again. Two. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the deck. So lots of control. Remember to keep your hips square to the ground. Through the walking portion. As little movement as possible. Don't rush it. There's work being done there. Two, three, Woo. and rest. Okay, we've got one more of those. Now, if the lateral plank walk is too much for your shoulders or your wrist, you can always just hold the plank for a three count before coming up to that squat jump, okay? Here we go. I might take that option. Two, three. We're adding a little shoulder tap action. Keep it up. Last set here, guys. Then we're done with them, so keep it up. Two, three, eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Oh, that was good. That was so good. All right, plank hop, bear hold, donkey kick. We have so. a lot on the wrist today, so roll them out, roll them out. Should I demo? Perfect timing for me to do this. Okay, yeah, let's use Jesse here as a model. So we're gonna start in that plank position, hop your feet in into a bear hold, <laughs> and then we're kicking up into a donkey kick, okay? Hop back out into your plank, into your bear hold, donkey kick. So for the donkey kick, you wanna start by pulling the heels in towards the bum and then kicking them out. 10 seconds left. So reset in plank. So that's I mix heavy. it up there. Yes, you do. Heavy on the up shoulders up after we've already done those plank walks. So heavy on the wrist. Listen to your body. Wrists and shoulders. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Plank. Plank. Bear crawl. Donkey. Plank. Oh. Bear hole. I forgot. <laughs> the plank. Plank. And if the donkey hole is too much, you can always just kick it out. Plank. Bear hole. Kick. Oh. I'm not there. Plank. Bear hole. Kick. I feel like the last time we did these, you couldn't do them because of your back. That's right. And now I can't do it because of my wrist. Two and one. That's just life. Shit happens, kick. right? We adjust, we adapt, we recover, and we keep going. Yes. Six seconds. One if more set. you can work through, I shouldn't say that, but I do feel like there's a benefit to keep working out, keep moving. When you have injury, you want to increase blood flow. Well, that as long as it's not pain, yeah, definitely. Your professionals will let you know it's okay, but don't necessarily stay away. Like the recommendation for me was to keep my thumb, my wrist, my hands moving. In. So remember to come into that bear hover, back is flat before jumping into the donkey kick. Out, in, woo! The All beautiful right. part is once we're done, we're fucking done. See you later, donkey kicks. Okay. Thanks. So it's a step up with an adduction kind of. 
So I'd call it a step up knee drive. So lateral step up, driving knee down. And up We're and hopping over. over. So drive up, down, up and over. Hop over. Can we get in sync here? Here we go. One, two. You can add a little bit of a hop as well. This is a quad burner. Yes. We're Doesn't taking it, it back. Two. Suzanne One. Summers. Woo! We got you. So we're pulling that leg back in towards the body. Hence the adduction portion, okay? Six seconds. My heart's getting up there. Yeah. Three, two, on and one. Here we go. Try to find something that isn't moving to focus on. Be mindful of where your feet are going. Woo! 15 seconds. Breathe. Pull that knee in towards the chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice. <laughs> okay, we got That's one more good. of those. I skyrocketed to a nine. Yeah. Okay. One more. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're staying kind of low without rounding through the back. Go, go, go! 15, 15 seconds! Don't get lazy with that knee. Ah! Five, Five, four, three, two, and one. Tie, boy! Oh my god. Alright. Do we need this bench still? No. Let's get rid, get rid of, of them. Coming down to the ground for mountain climbers. The frontal raise. We're gonna use Jesse again to demo because we're on our wrist. Ten, how many? Four. One, two, so running three, your knees four. in for four. From that plank position, push down through your supporting arm before taking that outer arm up. Outer arm. Outer, outer, outer. You want to be mindful of the hips. Don't let them flip flop from side to side like a fish out of water. Ten more seconds here. I'm going to give my wrist a rest for this one. Important to listen to your body. Three, two, and one. And remember the option to take your legs a little bit further apart if you feel like you are opening up through the hips as we reach our arms up. Yeah. See, I'm having a hard time talking. <laughs> Woo! It's a good sign. Yeah. That's zone three. That weekend was a little bit too much fun, let me tell you. Okay. Two, three, four. Which way? Right? One, two, three, four. Left. One, two, three, four. Hands directly below the shoulders. One, two, three, four. Keep going, gaze at the ground. We are almost there. Woo! There's so much sweat okay, on me right so now. When you come out of that hand raise back, reset your plank. Think about all the things. Knitting that belly button to spine or lower rib cage to top of pelvis. Let's Pushing go. through your palms, tightening the glutes. Tightening the quads, it's all part of it. Here, reset. Take an extra second if you need it. Oh! One, two, three, four. There's so much sweat. Eight seconds. Almost there. Last little bit. Run it out till the end. Ah! And rest. I'm just gonna nice. wipe that up so I don't flip on it <laughs> later. I actually can't see. What is next? All right, front kick. So it looks like this. It's a little complicated. Usually, a lot of the times we've done lateral shoot throughs, 
It's similar in that we're putting all the weight on that one side and kicking through the other side. So Tammy's already started it. Kick through. I'm going slow, guys. Go at your own tempo. We've done a lot of shoulder work today, so you guys know your body. Go at your own tempo. Woo. Sweat in my eye. I ain't gonna lie. Oh! Oh! Nice. Woo. So stay, okay. stay nice and strong. Using that adduction momentum to keep the leg up. Touch the glute down if you can. And back up Guys, on the side. It's kicking our ass. It is. Three. I like it. Here we go. Right. I'm going to find you here. So we're kicking in the same direction. Oh. Core tight. Push into that planted hand or fist. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Ah! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Tell me Was that mind. two or three? Two. Oh. You're the proud mama of another set. Come oh. on up. I can't see. There's three. so much sweat in my eyes. Two. One. All right, kicking right foot out first. Pop that glute down. <laughs> I just slid on sweat. Okay. All right. 20 seconds. Stay strong. Slow it down if you need to. Oh, I need to. This wrist is telling me, slow your roll, Tammy. No pain, just making sure it's stable. Three, two, and one. Whoa. Nice. All right. Glad those Look are over. Look at this. Plate. This comes in handy, push though. Press. Look. That does. A little Schmitz catcher. <laughs> okay, so grab for your plate. Okay, so we're going to come down into a squat. We're going to push forward. Bring, bring your back. back around the world. Now up. watch. Other way. Up and down. Beautiful. Don't hit yourself in the face with the plate. You want to make sure you're clearing that head. Almost there. Three, two, finish it. And one. Whoa. Those I like. Yeah. Those I have time for. <laughs> Those I could do all day. All right. Eight seconds. Grab your plate. Get ready Grab to move. Grab water, guys, if you need it. It's cardio day. We're not taking water breaks. We haven't yet. We should be. You guys need to take them. Down. Push. Pull. Around the world. Up. Down. Push. Pull. Around the world. Say it with us if you need to. Okay? Down. Push. Pull. Around the world. Down. Push. Pull. Around the world. Woo! 10 seconds. Down. Push. Pull. Get those shoulder blades moving at the back Last of the body. Five. Around the world. Woo! Quads. Drop it like it's hot. Woo! Quads need help. Oh. So after the weekend, Come on. I always have a little bit of, of a harder time getting started. Two. What's important is that One. you do it. Okay? Last set of these. Down. Push. Pull. Around the world. Coming with you. Woo! Fancy seeing you here. You want me to say it? Down, push, pull, around the world. Push, pull. 10 I'm seconds. Down, push, push pull, around, around the, the world. world. Three, Last one, two, and one. Woo! Ow. Let's get rid of those. That hurts. Yeah? I need to get a drink of water. Oh. Leave by example. It's not going to be pretty. Okay, four <laughs> seconds. Last exercise of the regular workout. 
we have a lateral lunge, knee driver into an alternating side leg raise, okay? Just like so. Drop it down, come back, pull that knee in, and take that leg out. Opposite side, down, pull that knee in, take it out. So we're alternating from side to side. You can add the hop if you want to, or skip it. Know your limits, play within it. Down. Are we stealing someone's like, That's Oops. OLG. Oh, right. <laughs> OLG! For those of you that are coming. Are you into the lottery or no? Not really. No. I'm always like, this year I'm gonna win the lottery. I never can play the lottery. You know what I love about the lottery? Yeah. There's, There's no skill. Pardon? There's no skill. <laughs> no There's rhyme no or skill. reason. Yeah, that's true. Down to the right. Is that true? Every game? Then. Oops. I think so. I messed up. Down. Oh. Knee. And out. No, I like. Where are you going, you, Mama? I don't know. Down. Oh. Knee. And out. To the right. Ah. Are you stuck? What is wrong with are me? you stuck on yeah. me? Up. Side. This way. There's a glitch in the system. Five seconds. A glitch Four, in the matrix. Three. I find it easier two. to stay on one side. Record stuck. Record stuck. Record All stuck. Right. Record stuck. Record stuck. Record stuck. OLG. Even if you don't win, you're contributing to someone else's dreams coming true. I like that. I should contribute to my dreams coming true. <laughs> okay, let's go to the right, Missy. Okay. Down. Right. Knee Up. driver. Whew, to the left. Down. Knee driver out to the right. See her? She's about to get stuck again. What is wrong to with the me? Left. Knee yeah. driver and out to the right. Knee driver and out to the left. You got it now. Woo! We got it. It only took three sets. Three sets. Eight seconds to the left. Down. Knee and out. One more to the right. Finish it. Woo! Nice. Woo! 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 Yay! Okay. Completion. And thank Woo! God, not Workout. a freaking set too Completion. soon. That went by pretty fast, actually, I have to say. I bet some of you at home are like, that was easy. If you're one of those people that were like, that was easy, good for you. Toss the vest on. Toss it on, okay? Toss it on, do the finisher, do it again. Tons of options, okay? This is the framework. You guys use it, adjust yeah. it how you Benchmark. want. Benchmark. Baseline, you add on, this is your baseline, okay? And like, cardio is always gonna kick my ass. It's always gonna kick my ass. It is always gonna kick my ass. It's good to come to terms with that. Yeah, it's especially when I have more muscle than normal or more weight than normal. And right now, I'm carrying a lot of muscle around. See these traps? Yeah, that's a good point. If you guys are out there and you're like, I don't know, whether it's your ideal weight doesn't matter, but if you're feeling like you're carrying around extra weight than you're used to, or it's just a little harder to move around. The COVID-15. Don't kid yourself, like doing these motions slowly, you may be working just as hard as somebody else that's like lighter and able to kick it around and go faster, okay? Guaranteed, keeping so, up with you, I, I'm like a solid 20 pounds heavier than, than Jess, and like there's no shame in that at all. Like. Love every single and also it also doesn't mean that it's harder either. Like lots of people much stronger and bigger than me can move a lot better than me. So it's just about different. being aware of the fact that you're moving around more weight. Yeah. Okay, finisher.